All right, guys. Well, it has turned into a spectacularly gorgeous. We are talking about an over-the-top beautiful day. Here in the end times, it bugs in a jar farm as the storm of the century number 25 this summer goes passing us by here on this now lovely Wednesday afternoon, July 24th, 2024. Let me start this rant all over again. So uh, it's been a while I've been noticing since I have done a clueless fucking moron roundup rant. So I think uh, today's a fine a day as any to go on the mainstream media to check in with the clueless fucking morons. And I noticed the number one story on planet Earth about a clueless fucking moron about uh, this. Uh, did you see this video of this uh, this whale? Uh, capsizing that boat off the co coast of New England and sending those clueless fucking morons uh, off into the drink. Uh, now there's some controversy I notice in the comments of whether the whale attacked the boat like uh, Moby Dick and Captain Ahab. I've been watching this video several times. The, the whale was not attacking the boat. The whale was doing what whales have been doing, I guess, for millions of years. They were trying to have their fucking dinner, or I guess their breakfast. They're sitting there, this pot of whales, minding their own fucking business, trying to eat breakfast the way whales do, and, and, and these clueless fucking moron humans come in on their little toy boat, one-fourth the size of a whale, and I uh, don't understand that when their boats uh, flipped upside down. I'm sorry to report that the whale watchers were pulled out of the water and not sure if their boat went to the bottom of the ocean or not, but good for the whales. And uh, from New England to Florida, where it is a great day to be an investor in human stupidity. I am uh, glad to see that my uh, investments in human stupidity are still uh, promising to pay off as the latest headline from Florida. Florida's population passes 23 million. 23 million for the first time due to clueless fucking morons moving in to Florida from other states. Uh, Florida's population crossed the 23 million residence mark for the first time this year because of the influx of people moving from other states according to state demographic estimates. As appropriately enough, as of April Fool's Day, April 1st of this year, Florida passed 23 million, according to the <coughs> State Demographic Estimating Conference. Florida is the third most populous state in the U.S., trailing only California, at 39 and a half million and dropping and don't forget Texas at 30.5 million and also skyrocketing as year after year after year more and more clueless fucking morons pouring into Florida and Texas. Uh, Florida added almost 359,000 people last year and has been adding between 350,000 to 375,000 clueless fucking morons each year this decade as more and more news comes out of Florida and and, and the you know the uh, insurance rates going through the roof that you no longer have because it blew off in a hurricane. All of this talk 
about uh, being the biggest hurricane season in history coming up. Uh, as more and more and more uh, news comes out of Florida, how only a clueless fucking moron would live there as a permanent resident, meaning year-round, more and more clueless fucking morons keep pouring in, which is why I am an, an investor in, in human stupidity and uh, in Florida real estate. Uh, and, and of course, it doesn't even mention in here the millions of snowbirds pouring into Florida every year uh, who are not clueless fucking morons. They, you know how the population of Florida probably swells, I'm guessing, to 30 million, you know, between like November and April, uh, as anybody with a fucking brain uh, such as myself uh, waits for the, the, the wet bulb temperatures to slack off and the hurricanes to peter out. Then you move to Florida in November, uh, enjoy uh, the now frost-free winters. Like never had frost last year in Florida. And then as soon as the wet bulb comes back in April, hey, get your ass out of Florida. And back to New York, baby. But it is really uh, New Zealand that I want to talk about several, uh, in the clueless fucking moron roundup rant, several versions of this story. Rare bird killed and eaten on reality TV show by contestant. And this is this uh, flightless bird called the Weka. W-E-K-A, I'm absolutely amazed that the clueless fucking moron Maori people uh, did not eat every single one of these birds. Like, you know, the Maori ate every single one of the really big flightless birds in, uh, in New Zealand. And uh, now these clueless fucking moron honkies on a reality TV show are picking up where the clueless fucking moron Maoris left off. An adventurer, an adventurer competing on a survivalist reality TV show said he was driven to eat a protected bird by a quote, very deep need to eat. A very deep need to eat. If, if anybody has never heard uh, any of my interviews with Bill Gady, G-A-E-D-E, -E, and the Gady hypothesis for the sixth mass extinction, as Bill is saying, uh, when society collapses and the grocery store shelves go empty in three days, what the hell, and, and all of this food aid uh, to sub-Saharan Africa and the rest of them uh, runs out overnight. Uh, what do you think? Eight billion clueless fucking morons with a very deep need to eat are going to eat. They're going to eat every one of our fellow earthlings. And they're going to start with flightless birds. Uh, and once the flightless birds are gone, then they eat the birds with the wings. Every one of our fellow earthlings, uh, bigger than a mouse, and probably half the mice are going to get uh, eaten as 8 billion people uh, find themselves with a, quote, very deep need to eat. Uh, who is this clueless fucking moron Spencer Corey Jones and teammate Oliver Dev were disqualified from the Race to Survive reality TV show in New Zealand after killing and eating a Weka or Maori hen. There you go. A Maori hen, a flightless and plump brown bird about the size of a chicken. A flightless and plump brown bird about the size of a chicken. I can't imagine that uh, 
triggered their very deep need to eat. The Whitewater River guides from the U.S. were racing other teams around checkpoints on New Zealand's South Island with only what they could carry. Uh, in footage from the show, Mr. Jones apologized for disrespecting the country by eating the bird. Quote, it was short-sighted. It was foolish, he said, before adding that, quote, a very deep need to eat was behind the breaking of the rules. Quote, we did have strategies in place for racing, but we did not prepare for hunger. We did not prepare for hunger, he explained, adding that the, quote, mindset of starvation mode, the mindset of starvation mode took over slowing down their thoughts and cognition. Uh, New Zealand's Department of Conservation has issued a written warning to the reality TV show following the incident. The incident, the killing and consumption of the Weka, a protected species, happened as Mr. Jones and Mr. Dev were battling the elements to survive and win a grueling race. The show thrust nine teams of two into the New Zealand wilderness, tasking them with navigating rough terrain while also sourcing their own food and water. The last team to reach any given checkpoint is eliminated until the show finds a winner and the winning team is awarded 500 thousand dollars in a statement this week uh, New Zealand's Department of Conservation said that it was aware that quote cast members were fatigued and suffering from significant hunger in an unusual group dynamic situation close quote but that killing and eating a native protective protected species was still unacceptable yes uh, on its website the show warns that contestants quote will need to endure physical pain to win the prize, the pairs must choose between the fastest route or the safest route as they strive to cross the finish line. There you go. Uh, anybody who does not understand what the collapse of global industrial civilization and the sixth mass extinction is going to look like just needs to ask the plump chicken sized flightless bird the Maori hen there you go but I am getting hungry looking at the Maori hen thinking about the collapse of everything so I have got to uh, get out there now that the Deluge has passed, and uh, Amazon has just delivered my non-GMO lettuce. I guess it's not organic, but is non-GMO lettuce uh, for my uh, BLT garden coming up in a couple of weeks. Uh, I'll have to come back with a video. My <coughs> My cherry tomato plant, I think, is now closing in on 10 feet tall. My cherry tomato plant, I think, is 10 feet tall and about 8 feet wide. Should probably have about a thousand cherry tomatoes on it. 
but I need to wait for the beef steaks to get here for my BLTs. Come see me at Bugs in a Jar Farm, and we will raid the BLT garden while we still can. Bye, guys.